Hope you like Strauss and welcome to my review of Till Death. This is a Netflix movie with Megan Fox. And if you have not seen this movie yet, I definitely recommend you do not watch this video because there will be major, major spoilers for this movie. Like, I loved this movie. It was so good. But if you have not seen the movie yet, I definitely recommend you do not watch this review because some shit goes down. So please watch the movie first. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Okay. So, okay, so the movie is Megan Fox, and so Megan Fox is with this guy, I think they're married, and they go to a house in, like, a snowy area, which, but yeah, I was getting some mad, like, misery vibes, because if you've seen Misery, if you haven't, I'd skip ahead a few seconds, because there's gonna be some spoilers for that, but Misery... Is, takes place in this one house, like, the whole movie, and it's in the middle of a snowy area, which Misery is a great movie, by the way, I love that movie, but yeah, I was getting mad Misery vibes from this movie, because snowy area, house, mainly the place of the movie, but so Megan Fox and him go there one day, and she wakes up, and she's handcuffed to him, and I was like, what the fuck, and then he shoots himself in the goddamn face, his head. Just kablam, right in front of her, and she's, of course she's freaking out. I mean, what else is she supposed to do? She's like, or well, she's handcuffed. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, so she's like, what the fuck? And then she realizes the situation. She tries to call someone. Oh, phone lines cut. This guy, by the way, this guy thought of everything. He didn't forget one fucking thing. Took all the gas out of the car. Removed all the weapons that she could maybe cut herself out out with. My man's thought of everything. I was like, he didn't forget a thing. Not one thing. He didn't forget a single thing. How? Even fucking her phone in the water. But, so she's like, what the fuck? Okay. And then she just, and I, it's funny. She used to drag around his dead body the whole movie. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? But, so... She's dragging his body around the entire movie, pretty much. And so, she has to, there's a part where she tries to get in the car. Oh, and she listens to, like, a thing he left in the car. Again, man, thought of everything. She didn't, and then she's like, oh, okay, the car is no gas in it. So she gets out of the car, and then this guy, or no, her friend comes to the house. I've, oh, I'm just now remembering some stuff. Her friend comes to the house, and he's like, hey, something, something. I don't know what he says exactly. And then she shows him the dead body, and he's like, huh, okay. And then they talk for a minute, and then a car pulls up, and he's like, hold on, I'm going to go see. And she's like, please be careful. Don't go out there. So, And then he does. Dude strolls up. Also, when he strolled up, I was – or no, his brother comes up first, just talking to him. And then the other brother – comes out the main bad guy of the movie comes out and when i watched the movie i was like he looks so familiar and the whole movie i was thinking it and then after the movie ended i googled it he's in batman v superman dawn of justice and captain america the winter soldier and i think he's in avengers endgame for like two seconds in the time travel scene but as soon as i saw that he was in those all it clicked with me i was like that's what he's in so if you thought he looked familiar when you watched the movie and you didn't know until now there you go he's in bat well if that's what you know him from. He's in Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, and Captain America Winter Soldier in Endgame, I believe. But yeah, so they kill her friend. And he was also giving me some, like, Loomis vibes from Halloween because he had that jacket on and stuff. I think. I don't remember. I've only seen the movie once, and that was, like, a month or two, two, like, two or three months ago that I watched it. But, so, and then they come in. They're like, we're gonna fucking kill that chick. And the brother's hesitant at first. I like the brother, kinda, because he's, he's like hesitant. And at the end, he doesn't even want to do it. Does his brother, does his brother kill him at the end? I think he fucking does. I don't remember. I need to rewatch the movie, honestly. But, so, she's like, oh shit, I gotta get out of here. She goes to like a shed, finds some weapon. I don't remember what it was. And she just, fucking mm, chops the dude her husband i think he is 
that she's handcuffed to, she just chops his fucking hand off, and they walk in there, she hides, I gotta say, she's very lucky, every time they almost find her, she's hiding, which I'm glad, I didn't want them to find her, I was very happy that she was so lucky, well, from getting murdered, but I was like, but I was like, damn, she is fast with these hiding tactics, but I was happy, I wasn't complaining, I was like, She's really fast, but I don't care because, or I was like, she's really good at avoiding them somehow, but I'm not complaining because holy shit, she's gone through a lot in this movie, so I didn't mind, but so they're like, what the fuck, and then they all go upstairs, I'm just blowing through this movie, jeez, that sounded weird, <laughs> but they're all upstairs, and he fucking falls through, what, the roof or something? The bad guy at one point? That was hilarious. But, so, they end up upstairs, and she's got this necklace thing on, which, of course, she can't take off. And I think... No, yeah, so he's, she's got the thing on, and the guy, the brother, tries to take it off, because he's pointing a gun at his brother. The main bad He's pointing a gun at the main bad guy, and he's like, Dude... Just take it off. And then it won't come off. And he's like, ah. He doesn't want us to take that off of her. He wants us to... Wait, what does he say? He's like, he doesn't want us to get it off of her. He wants us to cut her head off. He says it in a different way. He says it like, he doesn't want us to take it off her. Or something like... He doesn't want us to... Take... Oh, he doesn't want us to take it off of her, he wants us to take her off of it, or something like that, so, like, he wants him to chop her head off, I don't know why, what was the plan here, killing himself, and then waiting for someone else to saw her head off, what was the plan, what the, f what, huh, I don't know, I don't know what the plan was, to be honest, because, oh, the guy that is trying to kill her also, like, abused her, which is fucking horrible, but, so, she, I don't remember how, but she gets out of there, and I'm pretty, oh, the dude, like, slams his brother on, like, some stuff sticking out of the wall, and it kills him, and then he goes to follow Megan Fox, which, by the way, her husband slash boyfriend isn't played by Machine Gun Kelly, <laughs> he's not, you know, because, you know, they're together in real life, but, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But so, she goes, and she's on the ice, and then, I don't remember how, but they end up handcuffed to each other, her and the bad guy. I think he's chasing her, and then she does it, or he does it to her, and then the ice breaks, and they fall in, and they're underwater, and he, like, chokes her, and she almost dies, and then I think she stabs him in the eye, and he dies, and then she gets unhandcuffed somehow, I don't remember. She swims back up. And she's just touching the ice. You think she's gonna drown, but then a knife comes up that she was still holding, and she saws her way out. That was fucking cool. This movie is so good, dude. I, I want to rewatch this movie now. I want to rewatch this movie now. This movie is so good. This movie is so good, dude. It's so good. So she comes out. She's just laying there. And then it zooms out. And I'm pretty sure that's how the movie ends. So I'm assuming maybe the cops get there she escapes because i mean come on you're trying to imply that she died there no 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 no. i won't accept that <laughs> they're not trying to imply anything they just have a movie and they just zoom out she's like she won which i'm very happy that she did not die because that movie think of how fucked up of a situation that is that's just a fucked up thing but it's a great movie so uh yeah that's my review of till death loved this movie so so much. I would give this movie... Let's see, I've been doing star ratings recently. Um, oh, hang on, one sec. I thought about starting a series called Movie Updates, where I show you movies I've gotten over time, but I don't have enough to do one, but... I got Sean Chi and Legend of the Ten Rings today, so... Yeah. But... Yeah, I got it. I'm gonna watch this movie again, too. But... Yeah, back to, um, Till Death. But yeah, I'd give this movie... I've been doing star ratings. I honestly kind of want to give it five stars. At least four and a half. At least. 
Mm. Oh, I give this movie. You know what? Fuck it. I'm giving this movie five stars. I just love this movie so much. It was so good. Um. Oh my god, I love this movie so much, man. I really want to watch this movie again. <laughs> I'm watching this movie again, dude. I have to. And Sean Jane Legend of the Ten Rings. But. Hope you guys enjoyed my review till death. Let me know what you guys thought of this movie. Did you love it as much as I did? Because I fucking loved it, dude. Um, uh, I haven't seen Ghostbusters Afterlife yet. I don't know if I'll get to see it in theaters. I want to, but I don't know if I'll get to. Spider-Man No Way Home comes out soon. So you know what that means. Stay off Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, everything. Because that shit's going to get mad spoiled when people get early screening. So just a reminder, be careful. Because that shit's going to be everywhere when that movie gets early screened, so, just saying, but, yeah, so, really excited for that, I can't wait for that movie, that's probably gonna be the best Spider-Man movie, probably gonna be my favorite movie of the year, to be honest, but, yeah, Love to Till Death, this movie is very high in my top 10 favorite movies of the year so far, honestly, whenever I make my top 10 favorite movies of 2021 video, this movie will probably be on there, and Shang-Chi and I'm, I'm assuming Spider-Man Only Home will probably be number one, but, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed my review till death. Let me know what you guys thought of this movie. Uh, but yeah, guys, please give this video a like. Please subscribe to my channel and check out some other videos. Till death was such a good movie. I can't stress that enough. I'm sorry.